All right. Well, welcome everybody to the Peptide Masterclass. This is, I am Kate Archibald, your, your host today, and we're going to be diving into some peptides and um, just how you can utilize these and implement this with your life, with your patients, with your, your health plans. And I am stoked to jump in. We got the creator and founder of uh, Go Wellness and East West Health, Reagan Archibald with us here to, to present on this topic. Reagan, how's it going? It's going really well. And I'm, I'm uh, really appreciative of everyone who took some time out of their day to jump on this um, because we got a lot to rap about. So let's um, let's jump in and, and um, uh, Annie, Dan, Tucker, Cade, a uh, big question for you is if you looked into the future and you said, what are you most excited about when it comes to peptides right now? What would you say? And we'll just go a rapid fire around the around the horn. So we'll start with you, Cade, um, and uh, tell me what you're most excited about it with the future of peptides. So what I'm most excited about with peptides right now is uh, my. I feel like I am um, building more muscle, better endurance. Um, better fitness than I have probably in my my whole life. Um, right now, feel more more healthy and energized than I ever did in my twenties. I'm I'm I, over the hill on my thirties now, if that's how you want to say it. <laughs> like past that mid thirties and uh, uh, moving towards late thirties, and I feel like I have better energy, better mental clarity, um, and just overall. Perf- my, my body is performing at a level much better than it was ever in my twenties, maybe like my, my 20, 20 and 21, but yeah. And I, I think I, I've shared my story with a lot of you in the past where, you know, I had my own health problems and just, you know, it, it's been awesome to overcome that and just feel really good about my health. And I think peptides are, is one thing that is just gets me really amped up, especially my favorite right now continues to be like the growth hormone Socratic odds where I can start keep building muscle, had a great workout in the gym this morning and feel amazing. Nice. Uh, Kate, there's a uh, peg MG app. I just started that one today. So I'll let you know how it goes. Another uh, growth hormone Socratic odds. So I think you'll want to try that one. Awesome. Yeah. Um, nice. Tucker, how about you? What are you most excited about with peptides for the future? Oh, man, a lot of things. Um, personally, I'm excited to keep going throughout my personalized program and see my health continue to improve. I'm excited to do another blood work here in the near future to compare to the initial one from a few months ago. But more than that, I'm also excited that it seems like the um, education and knowledge around them is increasing like all over the world. Um, I mean, we're getting questions all day long from everywhere about them. And so it's really cool knowing that a seeing it all the time, working for our patients in the clinic and, uh, knowing that it's the future of medicine, but seeing so many people look for that, um, education on it and access to it. I think it's great. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. How about you, Dan? You know, I think my, when I think about where peptide therapy has potential to go, that's probably what gets me the most excited is I feel like we're really just scratching the surface of the different peptides that have been identified. You know, I was reading on SS31 and that one's starting to build up on mitochondrial uh, repair. And so, you know, one, the what the future holds where it's going to be i think like i said i think we're at the very beginning of this and i think you know looking into the future being able to create even more of a personalized approach for people based on everything that's going on it's such an an amazing intervention um and a longevity strategy both and that those those two aspects and then I, I, I'm just super curious of where it's going to go. I'm excited to find out what others are going to be discovered. And, you know, I'm excited that we're on the forefront of utilizing these things in the manner that we are. Man, couldn't agree more. That's, that's awesome. I was uh, just talking to a patient before 
this and uh, he's hitting the golf ball 30 yards farther just with peptides he can sit cross-legged now and he couldn't sit cross-legged before his wife's hitting the golf ball farther and uh, he's just amazed he's been doing peptides for six months um, you look at him I just saw him live he looks younger he's he feels super vibrant his Lyme disease was like his antibodies were sky high now they're negative um, I mean so many things have happened and he's just super jazzed. And so, uh, and, and I, I was telling him the same thing you're thinking, Dan, which is, well, we've, we've only uh, sequenced maybe 10,000 or 10% of these, you know, over 7,000 peptides. We're not even like, to say we've begun is like an understatement. It's like, we don't even have the rough draft. We don't even have the outline of this book uh, created yet. And so, so many details coming, which is exciting. Annie, how about you? What's, uh, what are you most excited about? Yeah, I was going to say basically exactly what Dan said. I feel like we're just at this big bang moment for peptides, right? Like everything, the universe is expanding for us here and we're at the forefront of that. And that's so excited. So, or so exciting, but I guess like the opportunities for, for what healthcare can be now and what it'll continue to be and to fast track, like, I'm just so excited about the potential of it all. Um, and truly being able to transform health in a different way than we've ever been able to do before, um, building up that long game, like Dan was saying. So, yeah. yeah. So many cool things. All right. So let's, uh, let's, let's learn about some peptides. So, um, so Dan, if you look at some of the peptides that are on the forefront right now, how many times a day do you hear about uh, semaglutide or ozembic or some of these GOP-1 agonists? No, we're hearing about it, you know, not only from patients, but just, you know, things in the news, shortages, also how people are utilizing it. And what's crazy to me is how many patients we've had that are starting care and they're on one of these GOP-1 uh peptides and they really don't know what it does they think it's just like like it's insulin right they think it's like a replacement for insulin and like no <laughs> it's it absolutely is not a replacement so it's a completely different mechanism and they you know i was talking to a guy last week and um he came in and he he was like i want to get off my my diabetes medication and i was like well you're on a, a peptide which actually has longevity benefits i mean you may want to stay on that. We still should clean up your body, but you may want to stay on this. You know, this is a, it is actually going to have some massive benefits. And when I started talking to him about all the benefits of it, he, 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 he was like, I had no idea. So we're hearing about it every day, you know, it literally every day. Yeah, there was, um, uh, you know, if you look at the uh, most uh, commonly um, searched medication right now is uh, Ozembic or um, Manjuro, uh -huh. and uh, it is, um, it surpassed, I believe it was uh, $15 billion. Kate, could you look that up in the background and just look at the market cap of Ozembic and um, Manjuro? And uh, this, I think you guys will find this pretty fascinating because um, what we're seeing is, is it actually, this is uh, uh, weight loss. Um, we, weight loss, first of all, is a massive problem. And diabetes is one of the biggest problems that we have, not only for adults in the United States and worldwide in any industrialized countries, but also for kids. And um, so now we're starting to see that because it works so well, almost as well as bypass surgery as, as um, you, know, you know, where you lose a lot of weight really fast. Um, this is a non-surgical way where you can really get the weight off and lower hemoglobin A1C. And so there's, there's two of these superstars that have risen up in the peptide world. And, and you know, these have been around for quite some time, for over a decade but the popularity is just finally coming to light based on the amount of success that they've had. And so one of those is called semaglutide. And um, that's what we've used a, uh, a lot. And the other one is terzepatide. And this one we're starting to use more and more because it has a little less, uh, you, you're gonna find that it's got, uh, it's, there's fewer issues when it comes to, um, you know, like digestive complaints. And, 
Hey everybody, Reagan Archbald here. I hope you enjoyed the Go Wellness show and maybe learned a couple things you could apply to your practice. If you're a healthcare entrepreneur who wants to work in an academic think tank with like-minded humans who are just like you, looking to provide better service, better quality of care for your patients, reach us at info at gowellness.com and we're happy to do a free practice analysis for you.